It's been a month since I got my Fujifilm X100S. I brought this camera out every single day for street photography and random stuff that I would like to try. And it turns out that this camera working pretty well for me. In this video, we are going to look deeper into a detail of this Fujifilm X100S and I would like to share some of my experience of using this camera in the past month. My name is Tony, I'm a photographer from Thailand, currently based in the US, and welcome to Ways of Tonino. like to start with the physical appearance of this camera. I would say that it looks pretty amazing. This camera is based on the rangefinder style of looking of the film camera, which is really identical when you look at side to side. To explain it properly, I will bring my film camera out. This is my Yashka Electro GS. This is my one of the film camera that I have in my camera collection. It looks pretty awesome. And this is my beefed up X100S. The X100S from the front, it looks pretty much identical to the film camera on the left right here. If you look on this one, this is Fujifilm X100S. This is the Yashka Electro GS. But if you look at the back, yeah, the LCD gives away the differences. That's the only differences they have. For the build of the camera, the entire body of this camera is made out of the magnesium alloy, which reduces a bunch of weight of this camera, as well as reinforce the durability of this camera also. You can carry this camera whole day without worrying too much about the weight. You just feel like you have another phone right in your pocket, so it's not that heavy. For the exterior of this camera, the top and the bottom plate are made out of the aluminum, which is really strong and looks pretty good on the camera itself and the leather-like finish on the exterior of the camera. It is a pretty good final touch of this camera. I'm not sure what is the material that made out of this, but it feels like a little plasticky like on this camera. It makes the camera looks pretty unique for such a small compact camera. The Fujifilm X100S is the premium compact camera that Fujifilm has produced. It was released back in the January 2013. It is the camera that doesn't offer the changeable lens. You cannot change any lenses out of this camera. It is a fixed lens. However, you can put some adapter that convert the lens into the autofocal length. The Fujifilm has provided two types of conversion lens, which are the wide-angle conversion lens and the tele conversion lens. I'm not quite sure which uh, focal length that they offer, but it makes a lot of differences when you put it on the camera. You can just screw it on like the filter. You just put it on like that. And with the design that looks like the rangefinder camera, the Fujifilm offered a hybrid viewfinder that allows the user to be able to switch between the optical and electrical viewfinder. According to my own experience, the way I use this viewfinder is when I'm taking a photo of the fast movement, I tend to use the optical viewfinder because I would like to see what's happened in real life and use the autofocus feature that also appear on the optical part to take a photo. The electrical viewfinder in this camera also has a little bit of a problem when you use it at the low shutter speed because it it's lag a lot when you look through the viewfinder as well as on the LCD screen too. Yeah, the viewfinder is a little annoying in some part. This Fujifilm X100S comes with a 16.3 megapixel with the APS-C X-Trans CMOS 2 sensor. It works really, really well during the low light situation and it's captured a perfect detail and it has exceptional clarity and detail in the photo. With the unique color filter array on the sensor, it makes the photo to popping out way more and it, it gives away the unique look. With the film simulation, it makes the JPEG file that coming out of this camera looks way better than what it actually is. You don't have to worry too much about editing it. You don't have to waste your time finding the, the, the preset on the Lightroom to make the photo looks like the film looking alike. Even though this camera not going to make the photo look exactly like the film, 
but still it is close enough to make you feel like this is a film photo. With the 23mm f2, which is equivalent to 35mm in the full frame camera system, it makes the photo look pretty sharp and the depth of field is really awesome and a great bokeh during the low light situation also. With this lens, you can do a macro mode where you just get close to the object and take a photo of it. It takes a little while to focus, but this camera can produce such an amazing small macro detail image also. You just need a little bit more patience on that part. This 23mm on this camera is well suited for street photography because the framing of the lens is kind of the same as how we see in everyday stuff. For example, if I see the camera right here and there's a background, the camera can see exactly what I'm seeing right now when I take a photo. So I don't have to force myself to use my imagination to see what it's going to look like with such a weird focal length. And this camera also comes with the built-in ND filter, which is the plate that cover in front of the lens to allow you to use the lower aperture in the daylight. Because sometimes when you take a photo with the really high lighting, you cannot use the low aperture on this camera because of the shutter speed. The Fujifilm X100S has the limitation of the shutter speed setting on the lower aperture setting. Because when you set the shutter speed above 2000 or 1000 of a second with the F2, you cannot take photo with that. You have to put the ND filter in front of it so that you can use the lower shutter speed. Because in this camera system, you will be able to use the shutter speed that is more than a thousand when you reach at the f5.6 which is a little bit annoying but the built-in ND filter really helps save the day with this kind of issue sometimes I just totally forgot to take off my ND filter in this camera so sometimes my photos are kind of a bit weird but it works pretty well the interesting part in this camera is when you put the raw file in the Lightroom, there is a major problem with the raw file that came out of the Fujifilm camera system. I'm not sure what happened, but every time I put my raw file in the Lightroom, the detail of the photo is a little bit off and it looked through the noise part on the photo that I took. And I heard that Lightroom kind of have a weird coding situation going on with the file. So the detail will not give away as much as the other program like the capture one i heard from most of the photographer who using fujifilm camera system recommend that well, we should use the capture one to edit the raw file of the fujifilm file the capture one would give you way more detail out of the raw file not sure why but that's what lightroom have an issue with the fujifilm raw file the capture one is a little bit expensive so i'm not going to get that one anytime soon so i'm gonna stick with lightroom for now and i'll be trying to find a way to fix it let's talk about the feature and the performance this camera performs pretty well in both low light and the high light situation as well as the fast and the fast movement capture situation also. It has a manual mode, it has a shutter priorities mode, it has the aperture priorities mode. These are the three modes that I, I mess around in this camera. All of those uh, settings can be achieved by adjusting outside of the camera, which means you don't have to turn on the camera and change all those settings. You just do it manually on the dial that available on the camera. This X100S has been a major upgrade since the original X100. The autofocus is way better and performance way better in the low light than the original X100. For the ease of use with the button placement and everything, it makes my lights way easier than other camera that I ever use because I can operate by using just one hand. Just use my right hand to take photo. I can adjust everything. I can change my shutter speed right here by just using one hand. I don't have to use two hands, just in case, you know, when I go out for groceries and I see something interesting, 
I cannot just put my bag down, take photo, you know. I can just carry it, pick my camera, take it out, take photo. Super easy. As of today, the camera is really expensive. The old film camera is getting more expensive nowadays and people begins to come back for free and photography again, which is another reason why I decided to get my Fujifilm X100S because of the film shortage. I don't want to pay extra money for film. So I just want to save my money and just invest it in this camera. Yeah, the market price nowadays is crazy as well as this camera system also. So I would like to suggest you guys to make sure that you do a deeper research or do not pay over price. And as well as checking the, the market value on eBay or stuff like that. For my camera, I got this guy for around $600, which is relatively high. But yeah, I'm happy with that purchase. So I'm not really regret of having one. But in the past, when I look through these camera models, it was around only like 300 or 400 on the market. And now it's kind of go up double. So it's way more expensive than ever. With such a retrospective design of the film camera that tried to implement into a digital world, I would say this camera nailed it. It works pretty well with such a compact and tiny camera. You can bring it out everywhere and performing in such a perfect low light situation with the perfect focal length and aperture. I really love this Fujifilm X100S. I really like the film simulation that this camera has offered also because I don't have to waste a lot of my time editing every single photo that I would like to post it. So I just use my JPEG file and just upload it. I think this is the perfect choice for people who, who wants to become a street photographer. It is the entry level camera. It is good for both amateur and pro photographer and with such an amazing rangefinder style that can be switched between the optical and electrical viewfinder, this is one of the coolest camera ever. Well, anyway, thank you for watching my video and I appreciate all your comments and likes and subscribe, even dislike, I don't really mind. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to press like, subscribe and share this video. If you dislike, feel free to click it so. My goals right now are just to go up to to go up to a thousand subscribers. If you have an issue with X100S, I will try my best to come up with the answer. And yeah, I hope you guys have a nice day. Welcome to Waste of Tonino, and see you again next time.